Hey yo people, I got another video for you from this video today I wanna deep dive and explore into like loneliness and being alone and not like on a oh woe is me I'm so cold alone more so the benefits because I myself have been spending a lot of alone time with <laughs> Yeah with me in it sorry yeah I've been spending a lot of alone, alone time with me and obviously look when you spend a lot of time by yourself in it, you really... It's a sign you're never truly alone, you've always got God. As soon as I finish this, yeah. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of alone time in it. And I've been learning a lot about myself and people and society in general. Oddly enough, but let me explain how. It's going to, it might be a bit messy. In. Recently, I took like a little hiatus, and like I went to, I booked an Airbnb out somewhere in the Midlands, and I stayed for like three nights, and I was just by myself, chilling, no social media, none of that, just alone with my mind, and just getting to know myself, and just thinking my thoughts. Do you get what I mean? Like, I've been kind of spending more alone time naturally since I graduated uni, obviously, because I'm not in any kind of institution for the first time in my life. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't have to be around people I don't like. I don't have to be people I don't want to be around. I have to. Be, I don't have to be anywhere in life that I don't want to be. Do you get? That's how I'm living my life, innit? So naturally, I'm alone a lot more. If I want to go see someone, that's cool. I'll contact them. I'll go see them. But that's just one day. I'm not. There's. There's no way I'm linking. Having two different outings in one week and maybe once a week. Do you get what I mean? So inevitably, I'm spending more time with myself. I've taken up the habit of meditating, so that obviously that's helped as well. But basically, what I've been learning, yeah, is it's very hard to describe unless you're kind of going through it. But a lot of the thoughts in your head are not yours. And a lot of the behaviours you take are not because you want to take them. It's because of, like, a framework that's been in your mind. And I'll give you a perfect example, in it, Like... Ever since I've just been with myself more, like, I just care a lot less about certain things in it. Like, when I go to the gym, I do me, like, you know what I'm saying? You, if you ever see me in the gym, I pace up and down a bit of a cycle. Like, I'm, like, if I'm playing a tune, like, I'm, I'm in it. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm me. I'm doing my thing. Do you get what I mean? And it's, it's very hard to describe, but there's a lot of barriers and a lot of thoughts placed in your mind as growing up. And it's just natural, man. It's natural. Like, I went to secondary school in London, like... Like, there's a lot of things that, <laughs> like, going to secondary school is just basically, we're just all a bunch of little kids, and we're all insecure, and we've all got issues, a lot of us have got deep-rooted issues, and we're just making fun of each other, and teasing each other, to just, so we can all fit in in it. That's basically what secondary school is, in, like, a sentence, so... When that goes through, a lot of people, like, a lot of things happen to a lot of different people. Some people go in, they come out better. Some people go on, they come out worse. Some people, you know what I mean, they just, they stay away from it when they just do their own thing, innit? I, myself, I believe, I've experienced both sides of it, innit? Like, when I first came to secondary school, I came late, innit? I didn't actually come when everyone else started. I came, like, two weeks after, so, you know what I mean? The first two weeks is probably when everyone makes friends. I don't know. I wasn't there. So, <laughs> so obviously, when I first came in, like, I was chilling with, like, year 11s, innit? When I was in year 7. That's what I did for a good portion of year 7. So, I feel like I was good for my development because I was spending time with OGs, but then, obviously, as time progressed, I got closer to my year and whatnot. And, yeah, I graduated as a cool kid. <laughs> but, basically, 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 what I've realised is you just got all these frameworks of what I can do and what I can't do is basically what I'm trying to say. And I realised this a lot when I went to uni as well. When I left London and I went to the Midlands, I met all these different types of people. I went from London, it was crazy. I had all these different ideas. Like 30 minutes wasn't, it was a short walk to them. It was different ideas. And I'm emphasising on loneliness, but it kind of happens when you just spend time in different environments. You kind of see different mindsets and different expectations but ultimately you realize that you've got a lot of limiting beliefs and some of them are not that deep in it some of them are good like for example like you can't catch me with dry lips anymore unless i've got them right now because they used to avoid me in secondary school but fixed up sharp now what i've learned from spending more a long time with myself is i just find that you kind of like if you're a cocoon 
like you unravel all these different parts of your personality isn't it you kind of like shed all the limiting beliefs or the thoughts of other people that were in your head and you kind of like dive deep into your true self and the way i say that is you just what you're more interested in you lean towards like if you were ever interested in something because like people went to dinner or someone convinced you that it was interesting you start to realize mm, i don't really care about that or you you know what i mean you don't really care about watching other people's lives you don't really care about like a perfect example is like right the more time i spend alone anytime i come back to social media i just realize how much i dislike social media like i can't like it's, it's it, it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't you know, probably because all you see on social media is other people's thoughts other people's lives other people's this and we naturally as human beings we're beings of comparison innit? we compare ourselves to other people our lives how interesting how all of this and i'll give you a perfect example look like my life is great like alhamdulillah all praise be to god i'm like i've got one of the greatest lives in the world innit? in the grand scheme of every single person on earth like i live in london i'm blessed i've got a car i've got you know what i'm saying i've had a good life like I'm, I'm very young, I went to uni, I graduated, I had a lot of fun, like, I've met a lot of people, like, I've had a great life, you know what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm still young, and when I'm by myself, I, I look, look back on my life and I think about it, and I'm so grateful, I'm so, like, I'm honestly from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful to have food, I'm so grateful to have shelter, I'm so grateful for the simple things, innit, and I'm happy, I feel peace, I feel joy, that's when I'm by myself and I've got no one else's thoughts, but if I'm on social media or something like that, cool now i'm seeing people like what's they let their eye in dubai or whatever they're doing all this you know what i'm saying they got all these jewels and stuff like that i don't even like jewelry like i'm a plain chain kind of guy do you know what i'm saying but your mind will just compare like oh this person's got more than me that's what your mind does and it might not even be true because it's mad because people i'll upload something on my story or my something and people will say oh bro you got this or you got and i'll be like no nah, so you're looking at it the wrong way like that's not what i'm trying to show you it's not it's not a that actually that's what we do and it makes us feel less because of that and that is a very terrible emotion you don't want to feel less and it's not even truly less because i realize when i come on social media i find that joy i find that gratitude again because alhamdulillah my life is good my life is blessed i don't have to worry about any like of the essentials anymore any of the necessities anymore there's a point in my life where i was probably just living in stress of simple things that i'm I don't even know if I actually had to, but that was my mindset. Maybe it was because of social media. I was thinking I was chasing something that I didn't have. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's what happens when you're around people because it's this comparison, this comparison, or oh, this person likes this. And that's what I made another video. I'm assuming I made it just five minutes ago. <laughs> I made another video talking about a video about having dream cars, and the person said you shouldn't have dream cars. And it's because the people you're around like have will lead you to believe. Like, this is the thing that we want. Do you get what I mean? But when you're alone, you don't think like that. Like, a better way to uh, put it is, like, cool. I find a bunch of secondary school kids right now. Easy, like, I go out in the street. I see a bunch of secondary school kids. And let's say it's the weekend and they're out in the shopping center. They're all probably dressed very similar. If we're in London, they're all probably wearing Nike tracksuits or something adjacent. Why? If one of them's got more money, they've probably got a Gucci pouch. Why? Because we all think the same and we've all got this idea of what we think is. And that person probably probably acts or treats, but like, you know what I mean? Thinks he's better because he's got the better clothes. But it's all bullshit. It's not real. Do you get what I mean? And now one of the kids is there is all feeling insecure because he hasn't got peas. His parents haven't got peas. He hasn't got bread. But he feel like he needs this night tracky or this Gucci pouch to feel better or to feel like he's... Do you know what I'm saying? There's there's a gap or void he's trying to fill and he's trying to fill it with material items. But it doesn't work like that. Do you get what I mean? It's not even probably what he wants. Like, And when you're in that cycle, you're wasting time and it's because... Look, I've been there. Like 14, 15, 16, yeah, I definitely wanted all of these uh, designers and all this and rare tear tear. tear. I'm I'm still gonna buy them. I don't need them now. Do you get what I mean? Like, I can't need them. It's not what's gonna fulfill me. Now I look. Um, it's more of like, for example, if I can make a good YouTube video, if I make a good YouTube video, some of us will be like, bro, bro, that video you made was very helpful. That does it for me. Like, right, if I have a good days of work, I go to the gym, I wake up early, I meditate, I pray with my five prayers. That makes me feel good. And I could have done all of this at any time in my life, but I just didn't know. And I was confused and I didn't know it's because I was around different people and my, my views were skewed of what I thought was cool. 
And it's like, right, if I put on this uh, Canada Goose jacket, guys are telling me they rate me now. I'm thinking, right, I've got to get more of this. It doesn't, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not true validation. It won't really fulfil you, innit? And I've gone a long roundabout way of society and validation. But it's just basically saying is when you're by yourself, when you're alone, your true values, what you truly value comes out. And like, and that's, do you know what it is? I don't know because maybe I'm just a different type of person because when I'm by myself, when I'm not, when I haven't got any social media, when I haven't got anybody I'm talking to, or just, I'm just by me, I think about my life and I'm like, oh, wow, like I take a moment, I step back. I don't need any more. I've, I've got it. I've done it. Like, I just want to do better and grow and do better for my family. That's it. That's what makes me, you know what I'm saying? I don't need, like, you know what I'm saying? If you notice, I wear a plain shirt all the time. I made this, I don't, I don't really care. Like, if I'm going out, I'll buy something nice because, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're social beings and we've got to, got to flex sometimes. But it's not, I don't need to. Like, I could go there with a plain shirt. I'll, this is a shirt from Primark. Like, it's, it's three pound. Like, I feel like I look good in it. That's all that matters. And do you know what it is? It's another thing as well. And this is more so for girls than it is for guys. But it's that comparison and I've seen it and it's so sad. I'll be honest, like, you ever seen a girl and then she's looking at someone else on Instagram and she wants to look like that other person got that. And it's like, no, man. Look in the mirror. Just love yourself, man. I swear, man. Sometimes you've got to spend that time alone by yourself just so you can reset everything, man. Because, look, at the end of the day, like, look in the mirror. That's all you've got. You've got yourself in it. So you've got to love yourself and you've got to take care of yourself and you've got to want to grow. Like a lot of people are chasing things that they think will make them happy that once they get will make them sad. Think about that. And they don't know that because why? They're spending time with a group of people who value something and it's, and it's, it's based on rubbish, based on nonsense, based on music videos. Guys are chasing something based on music videos and Instagram. That's what we live in today, and that's very sad, man. I bro, like I'm not dissing anybody. I've seen all the Insta girls. I've seen all the Insta baddies. I've seen all the guys with chains and this that. I've seen them from my own eyes. They've been we've been in the same room like, multiple different times. It's not that, man. A lot of these people, they're not even happy, bro. They're not even happy. So, don't look up to an image of something that you think is gonna make you happy, man. I swear, man. Like. You'll find the most joy and peace when you separate yourself for a while and you really think about what you truly want, man. And this, there's so many layers and layers and layers and layers and layers to this because it could be like, you might be a young kid and your parents want you to be a doctor or an engineer and maybe you want to be a cold or maybe you want to be an actor or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You only realise that when you spend time by yourself and it's like, what do I truly want? What do I truly care about? Who am I? Where am I going? That's what your soul will always keep asking you. Who am I? Where am I going? And when you're surrounded by different people, do you know what you have? You hear their voices in your head. You know what I mean? What you follow, who you follow, what you keep checking for, those are the voices you see in your head. Those are the people you look up to. Those are the people you aspire to be like. So choose wisely. Choose wisely if you're going to follow people. Choose wisely. If not, follow your own moral compass. And that's what we should do, man. So spending time by yourself... I can make this a three part video because I've probably done this very horribly but from what I've learned by spending more time by myself it's just like I've accepted and loved myself way more I don't need anybody to ever like validate any of my like emotions or characteristics you know what I mean like and I know that and you know what's magic and I'll tell you this right now I'll tell you this right now listen listen I'll tell you this right now this will happen for you you if you're a guy in a more so like if you've got a certain characteristics let's say you're a confident guy in it and you're confident, and then you go speak to a new girl or something, or whatever, or like texting or whatever, you go see her, and you're confident. Like, I've clocked this, and it's so pervasive, and I don't know if it's a London thing, but if you're confident, or you're funny, or whatever, go, like, if she's a certain type of girl, you'll be like, oh, you're confident, aren't you? Or you think you're confident, or you think you're this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, do you get, do you get what I mean? It's this little pervasive mentality of like, if you've got a character trait or something, Everybody outside always wants to test it or put it down. Do you get what I mean? Like, what well, you make a joke, what well, you, you think you're a funny, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we grew up with in London, innit? So that's all nonsense and that. So basically, when you spend time with yourself, you just truly get into yourself, your own characteristics. You kind of realign your path to where you truly want to go. And you get in that direction. And you just become, if you're a person of grace and gratitude, you become more at peace with life because you realise there's not really much you need, like, that's it, man. Myself, that's me. I've become more peaceful. 
I'm infinitely more grateful. I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm ever only about sad when I'm on social media. I'm like my brain does the automatic comparing thing. And yeah, man, I know what I need to do, and I'd go do it because you know what I mean. There's no distractions. It's just me and my thoughts, and I'm always thinking. I, like I always want better. For my, unless you hate yourself, and then you need to go through that. That's the whole process. You know what you need to do. So you'll do it, do you know what I'm saying? Like you're not trying to there's a famous thing in it, like you're not grinding to impress a community, you bro do it to save a family and that like bro, like your mum doesn't care about a Gucci pouch or drip and that bro, fix up like work hard, uplift your family and your community. You know what I'm saying? Be an inspiration, innit? Forget forget the outside world, bro. That's what I'm saying, look. Would you rather be at peace with yourself? And at war with the world, or at war with yourself and at peace with the world. And that's basically saying, like, look, you can fit in and do what everybody likes and think is cool and do all these dumb stuff. Everybody thinks you're cool and they like you from the outside, but inside you're messed up because you're just living incoherently with who you really are and what's good for you. Or you can be alone, be at peace with yourself, be good have your goals and work towards it in silence and nobody knows and nobody really cares to be fair because you're not doing anything out there but you're at peace you know what i'm saying and then every day you just go over the world but once you've got inner peace i swear everything else, that's that's like 50 percent of the journey you know? so i digress just obviously you probably can't just book a flipping free night out somewhere and just ski out so i just say start to meditate man and spend more time with yourself and you really get to know yourself more and Spend more time with your mind and you observe your thoughts in it. That's the best thing you can do. Observe your thoughts and look at your thoughts and be like, hmm, why? Why do I want that? Or why do I think that? Or why do I want to do this? Or stop, stop, quick, clear yourself. Don't allow yourself to just have these thoughts in it because that's how you realize, like, hmm, do I actually care about that? Is that something I actually want to do? Am I doing this because I actually want to do it? Or is, this, is there something in my head that's just convinced me that this is what I should do or this is what will make me feel cool? So, yeah. That's it, man. Um, spend more time by yourself and you will get to know yourself better and have a better understanding of what you want to do with your life. And you can't really ask for anything more than that. So, oh, that's been uh, enjoyable. If not, apologies. No, I'm not. Am I sorry? Yes, yeah, sorry for wasting your time, innit? If it was valuable, great. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one,